Hello and welcome back to another video in differential equations. So in this video, we are going to talk about linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficient. So what you can see here is the general form of a linear homogeneous differential equations. So a sub o, a sub 1, a sub n minus 1, and a sub n are all constants. So an example of that now, can be written as, let's say we have uh, 4y triple prime minus 13y prime plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay? Plus 6y is equal to 0. So this is an example of a linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficient. Now, it's important to take note that this linear homogeneous differential equation can also be annotated in terms of its differential operator. Now, I have to introduce this differential operator because some books no, or most of the books would use these differential operators as means of expressing higher order differential equation. So, this is in the symbol of D and if you see D raised to NY, then that is simply your derivative of uh, derivative of y with respect to x of the n order okay so if we will translate this to a uh, to a differential operator it would be for d raised to 3 or d cube d cube y minus 13 dy because it is uh, the first derivative, so n is equal to 1. And then, this, is, would, this would simply be 6y. So this uh, particular differential equation no, can also be written as 4d cubed minus 13d plus 6 quantity times y is equal to 0. Okay? So that's uh, the first step that I want you to, uh, to learn first, no? Identifying a linear differential equation, okay, and uh, seeing how it is written in the differential operator. So next step is how are we going to solve this particular differential equation, okay? How are we going to solve this linear homogeneous differential equation? Now, if it is a linear homogeneous differential equation, we will use y is equal to e raised to mx as means of solving the differential equation. Now, let's try to examine what is the first derivative of this solution. So, we have first derivative is m e raised to mx. Second derivative is uh, m squared e raised to mx. And the third derivative would be m cubed e raised to mx. Well, actually, we can conclude that whatever is the order of derivative that you want to get, let's say order n, then it would simply be m raised to n, e raised to mx. Okay? So you can see that pattern right there. And now, let us substitute. No? Let us substitute these derivatives that we have acquired in our given here. So what do we get? We have 4 y triple prime. So 4 y triple prime is m cubed e raised to mx and then minus 13y so 13y prime so that would be m e raised to mx plus 6y so 6y is equal to e raised to mx is equal to 0 okay so we can factor out here e raised to mx and it would become 4m cubed minus 13m plus 6, close quantity, is equal to 0. And if you will divide the whole equation by e raised to mx, okay, then what is left is what you call the auxiliary equation, okay, which is 4m cubed minus 13m plus 6 is equal to 0. Again, this is called your auxiliary equation. Okay, this is f of m is equal to 0. 
So what can we conclude here? Here we have a differential equation that is transform this differential equation, linear homogeneous differential equation. This is transformed to a simple auxiliary equation, wherein if we would find the values of m, then we already know the solution of our differential equation. Okay? So again, simply use algebra to solve for m, and then we will now find the solution of our differential equation. And the solution would simply be y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to, let's say, m sub 1 x plus c sub 2 e raised to m sub 2 x and so on and so forth. Kung ilang mang c or kung ilang mang m, it depends on how many m can you find. Now, we will, uh, we will assume first that all the m that we have found, okay, this is the solution if all your m is distinct. So, ibig sabihin iba-iba. Distinct and real. Because there are cases wherein your m can be repeating or it can also be imaginary. Now, before I proceed with solving for m in this auxiliary equation, before I proceed, it's important to take note that if we will observe our differential operator, our notation of the uh, differential equator, uh, differential equation in the differential operator form, which is this one, it is important to take note that 4d cubed minus 13d plus 6 is actually similar to 4m cubed minus 13m plus 6. Okay? So it means to say that if you are given a uh, differential equation which is annotated using a differential operator, then you can easily solve or you can easily identify what is your auxiliary equation. Okay, we will have more examples of that later on. Well, actually, in reality, even if you're given a regular differential equation you know, in the form of uh, derivative of y with respect to x, now we can also see right away what is our auxiliary equation. This is this can also be seen no, by pattern as 4m cubed minus 13m plus 6. Okay, but it's uh, clearer here if you use differential operator. So let's continue solving for m. So again, we have here 4m cubed minus 13m plus 6. Let's just write it down. 4m cubed minus 13m plus 6. And our goal is to solve for m. So what we need here is to recall our algebra. And we know that... Uh, when, uh, when an equation is equal to 0, then we are essentially solving for the root, no? the root of the equation. Now, one technique that uh, is commonly used is trial and error, wherein you would substitute for values of m, okay, and then until you can find what is equivalent to 0, and then using synthetic division. But to avoid that uh, trial and error, what you can also do right now is to use a graphing utility. Okay, so I use a graphing utility and uh, I will paste the graph here of my 4m cubed minus 13m plus 6. Okay, so let's say, of course, this is in uh, x and y. This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. So this is actually y is equal to 4x cubed minus 13x plus 6. But what is important to take note here is because is that because we have equated this to 0, then what we are essentially looking for is when y is 0, what would be your x? Okay, again, when y is 0, when y is 0, what would be x? In this particular case, this particular case is actually talking about the x-intercepts. 
Okay, that is actually talking about the x-intercepts. What we can see here in the graph, so that's the reason why I use a grapher, a grapher utility, for me to look what are the x-intercepts. And then uh, after looking what are the x-intercepts, then I could now solve for, and that is actually the value of m. So let's take into consideration this particular point. Okay, that point has a coordinate of negative 2, 0. So meaning to say that if m is equal to negative 2, then m plus 2 is a factor of is a factor of 4m cubed minus 13m plus 6. Okay, 13m plus 6. Sorry about that is equal to 0. So, if I will divide, if I will divide m plus 2, I should get a quotient which has no, uh, or it which is free of uh, remainder, of a remainder. So, let us use synthetic division. So, we have 4, 4, and then 0, and then negative 13, and then 6. And then, we will have our root as equal to 2. So, applying the rules of synthetic division, we bring down 4, multiply, this is negative 8. So then we add, that is negative 8, negative 8 times negative 2 is 16. And then again we add, so this is equal to 3, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So that would now be equal to 0. So therefore, this particular function, okay, this particular auxiliary equation would have the factors m plus 2, times 4m squared minus 8m plus 3 is equal to 0. And then finally, I will just factor this out for me to find what are the last two remaining roots of my auxiliary equation. So this is just basic algebra. So this will be 2m, this will also be 2m. And this is 3, this is 1, and in order to produce negative 8, I should make this both negative, and also at the same time, I will produce positive 3. So I now have three values of m. First, we have m sub 1 is equal to negative 2. m sub 2 would be 1 half. And m sub 3 would be equal to negative 3 halves. Okay? No, not negative 3 halves, sorry about that, but positive 3 halves because this is negative. Okay? So... What is now the solution of our differential equation? Again, it says here that if all of m is distinct and real, then this is the solution. So we simply apply that, and we now have our final answer. Therefore, the solution is y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to negative 2x plus c sub 2 e raised to x over 2 plus c sub 3 e raised to 3x over 2. Okay, and that is now the final answer, and that is the solution of our differential equation, which is 4y, 4y triple prime minus 13y prime plus 6y is equal to 0.